Hi, thank you, Ben. Macon Bibb County says 90% of their systems are back online after a possible data breach. Now, they still haven't said a whole lot about what's going on or what they've done to combat the problem. Anthony Montalto spoke with a Middle Georgia State cybersecurity expert to find out more about what the county could be dealing with. Alan Steins at Middle Georgia State University says most companies and local governments have plans when it comes to cybersecurity, and he says their systems are pretty quick to let them know when something is wrong. He says it can be anything from a strange email to new data in the servers. The uh, first thing that you want to do is first confirm that. There's a number of different ways to confirm a data breach, and the most common way is something you've probably heard from your IT department at work. That might mean turning some systems off. And back on again. Or disabling some systems until you can try to isolate the problem. That's what the county did, ruling out different departments until they got most systems back up and running. They did it to prevent damage, and Stein says that's the right call. A lot of modern malware these days will actually move from computer to computer or from network to network. And so the more that you can turn off, the faster, the less impact, hopefully, that you can have across your organization. He says from that point, you're searching through all the networks and all the servers for the problem. There's no timeline for that. Nothing looks bad over here. Let's stand those up and make sure they're OK. And then, then you monitor for keep monitoring. If you're not triggering those alerts that I mentioned before, then you're probably OK. Then you move on carefully. You don't want to bring back online the compromised systems that were there in the first place, because then you have the potential of it just running amok again. Stein says most of the time all an IT department needs is time. He says the county looks to be handling the situation well and that they've recovered their networks quicker than most. Back to you. Hi, thanks, Anthony. Right now, most county services are back online. That includes their C Click Fix problem reporting site and some bill payment services. As of last Friday, the tax commissioner's office still could not accept property tax payments.